Hello, it's time for Project Runaway New Zealand Season 1, Episode 9. Recap, I'm Christina Dune. Previously, we saw bridesmaids' dresses get redone, and Caitlin took the win, and we saw Misty walk. No one is safe anymore. No more immunity. This week, well, we hear more from Carrie. He seems unhappy with Ben and Caitlin's relationship. Jess was on the bottom, so she's a bit worried. Six designers left. Caitlin is the first designer to get to pick her jewelry from Pascos as her inspiration uh, because she, of course, won last week. She then picks Ben to select and so on. Andreas and Georgia tell the designers this week's challenge is all about the bling, with our designers creating an elegant evening gown inspired by a piece of Pasco's jewelry. Designers get $150 and a day and a half to create their looks. Well, we hear a bit more bitterness from the designers regarding Ben and Caitlin's relationship. It's been noticed by both Caitlin and Ben that people are a bit bitter towards them. Caitlin notes that uh, they probably shouldn't focus their energy on them and, uh, you know, rather put it on their own designs. Well, they get hard to work and, of course, as they have their struggles. And let me say, several of them were, were quite, I mean, it was crunch time when they were finally getting things done. Well, it is time for the runway. And joining our judges tonight along with Sally Ann and Benny Castle, is hip-hop artist Lady Six. So, let's start the show. All right, up first is Carrie. Now, I thought it might end up a bit costumey, but, I mean, I like it. The hem is a bit, well, it's not quite, I don't know. It's not quite right, the hem, to me, but that's an easy fix anyway, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think it's cool. Up next is Benny. Now, to me, it just doesn't seem to fit quite right. It almost makes the poor model look like her breasts are going to just sort of burst out when she walks the runway. I, I don't know. But it, it just it wasn't very fitting. But, I mean, the dress itself, it, it's a, I don't, I don't, I'm not knocking the design, but the fit. That's what I was having a problem with. Um, Caitlin. No, I think it's cute, but I really wish she had gone with color or longer fringe. Actually, definitely color. I'm just, I just, I'm sick of the white. I mean, I, her white pants last week were great, but, you know, she had the color on top to help balance it out. And it's just boring white. Ugh. I don't know. I just didn't care about it. But definitely if she had gone with the, the color and maybe some longer fringe, then maybe it would be more, I don't know, something. It just didn't come off as like evening wear to me because it was sort of supposed, they were supposed to do evening gowns and granted, you know, technically it doesn't have to be a gown, but it really should seem a bit more, I don't know, maybe if she come with a different fabric. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just, that's me. But yeah, I was a bit disappointed that there was no color. In fact, I, even Andreas, um, he gave her advice on, you know, not using the white again. And it's too bad that, you know, she didn't heed that advice. All right, up next is Jess. No, I think it's good, except for the walk. The poor model, she seemed a bit restricted. And um, she does acknowledge, though, that she should have used elastic thread to rectify that little problem. So... Um, you know, that again, I guess that would be another something that could be easily fixed, but the gown itself is cool. I love the shoulder detail and the, and the dip in the back, the uh, sort of um, asymmetrical sort of dip. I think it looks cool. Um, ben! I love sequins. And Ben did sequins very well. I think he, I mean, he his work is usually just very well done except for that one week, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> but no, he did, I thought he did a great job with this dress, and then I think it looks awesome. Plus then he did like these sort of legging, legging type of things with these boots. It looked really cool. Anyway, it was cool. Um, Judy, well, of course, Judy, again, knocks it out of the park. I mean, another fantastic gown, 
and you know and this is definitely something new for her and I mean I just but I just love Judy's work and to me she's always consistently good and you know even Sally Ann says that you know if she needs a gown she is going to definitely look up Judy because why wouldn't you I mean Judy makes beautiful gowns excellent but anyway so and this was something different for her with the outside sort of uh, boning in that sort of a skeletal thing on the outside sort of thing but it looks so beautiful anyway all right judges uh, then say you know carries is cool and he met the brief uh, lady six says it has a Beyonce vibe um, yeah I thought it was cool Benny's uh, Georgia says she's seen it before and the others say his execution was off and I agree uh, Caitlin's they say the fabric choice was wrong and it could have been sexier lady six says more tassels Benny says white doesn't work in this case yep I agree Jess uh, Georgia loves it Sally says it is unexpected and interesting they mentioned the mobility issue and Benny loves the shoulder and the dip in the back lady six says the more she looks at it the more she likes it the sort of a slow burn type of dress and I have to agree with that statement that she made because that's exactly kind of because at first I was like what and then it's like ah oh, yeah yeah I do like that it is cool it really is and I think if she sort of fixed that mobility issue so that it would be more comfortable for the for the model or whomever is wearing it um, yeah I think uh, I think it was it rocked yeah and Ben uh, Georgia loves it uh, Benny says he reinvented the look or something like that I wasn't I didn't quite understand what he meant but I mean it was a positive thing they all seemed to love it so but I didn't know quite pick up what he said um Judy Sally Ann says she is the evening gown queen yes she is well upon deliberation and going over the designs the judges then call back the designers and Jess wins and she gets a two thousand dollar gift card for Pascos so she can, can get some bling for herself <laughs> Um, they excuse Carrie, Ben, and Judy, and it's down to Caitlin and Benny. And Caitlin walks. Now, isn't that a shocker? Last week she won. Week before she won. And now she walks. Just shows you anyone can walk. We're coming down to the end of the wire here. And only one person can win. Our first ever project, Runway New Zealand. Well, join me again next week for another recap of the show. Until then, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time.